Hi learners, this is Pushkala and this is a video on web scrapping. So we'll be seeing how to extract data from the internet using Python language. So let's say we have a web page like this. I'm going to search something in the Google. Let's say emoji Wikipedia. So this is one of the web pages I'm going to take for this demo. So we have a lot of content in here. So we have two types of libraries to do this web scraping. One is to extract the content here. The another one is to extract the tables in here. So I can extract this whole table in the table format itself and import this as a data set in Python. We can do that using pandas library itself. So pandas is a famous library which we use to process data sets and everything. So I'm gonna import this table inside the Python language using pandas. So web scraping is nothing but you're importing data from the internet into the Python language. You're scraping the data. So first, let's import the pandas library. I have imported pandas. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna use this function called read html that is the function which is going to help me read this web page this web page so i'm gonna copy this link i'm gonna paste it in here and that's it all the tables inside that data will be <clears throat> extracted into this so these are all the data tables that is inside that web page and all of them has been retrieved so it has too many data sets data sets yes so in here i'm gonna just give a random number so i'm saying two which is index two that means i'm retrieving the third table from a list of tables extracted from that particular web page so if i say zero that is the very first table so this is the first table we have seen isn't it this is the table and i have extracted it inside the python language so this is web scraping. You can use this data set for any kind of processing. So this is the first method. So let's go for the second method, which is using beautiful soup. <clears throat> beautiful soup. So if you want to install this library, all you can, all you need to do is pip install bs4. That's it. So since I have already installed this, I'm just commenting it for your reference. <clears throat> pip install bs4. So from this library bs4, I'm going to import this beautiful soup library. Beautiful soup. And since I'm going to work with internet links and everything, I need one more library called requests. So this is to request data from a particular website. So I have this request library and beautiful soup library ready. What I'm gonna do next is I need a URL. So from where I'm gonna extract the data. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go to the internet and browse. I have seen this article in AWS. So I'm gonna just use this article. <clears throat> So this is this, what is data science and everything. This is the website and I'm gonna try and extract these datas. These are the data I'm gonna extract. <clears throat> so first let's concentrate on this first paragraph. Data science is a study to extract meaningful insights for business. I'm gonna extract this paragraph. So I need this data, uh, this link, and I'm gonna paste it in the URL. And the next step is going to be, let's assign a variable. I'm calling this variable web page. And I'm going to use this request to request this URL. Get URL. So when I print the web page, all you're going to see is response to 100. This response to 100 is nothing but whatever the request you have made is successful. The website is permitting you to request the data. 
that is why we see request 200 so our request is successful now i'm gonna try and extract this data so again i'm gonna use a variable in this i'm gonna call this beautiful soup library and i'm going to parse the data from this website content comma html parser this parser is nothing but it will study whatever the web page is being given and it will parse only the HTML out of it. I don't need any other information from the website. I need only the HTML information. So it will extract only the HTML information for me. So printing soup. So here you can see from doc type HTML to whatever it is returned in the web page for HTML that is being retrieved. <laughs> So all I need is, I need that uh, paragraph that is saying data science is the study of data something. I need this particular paragraph. To extract that, what I need is, I need a ID to extract that paragraph. It is hard to find it in here because it has too much data. So I'm directly going into the website. I'm right clicking on this data and saying inspect. <clears throat> So here you have the data itself. I have found the data paragraph. So I have found where this data is in the particular code. So all I have to do is go prior to that and find if I have any ID to enclose to find that particular paragraph. I'm trying to find an ID. Here I have found an ID. So I'm just going to copy this ID and back to the program. I'm going to say result soup.find that particular ID is being given. I'm saying ID equal to AWS content main. So I'll see the result now. So as you can see here, from the ID AWS page content, I have extracted all the information inside that. And that information has this data science paragraph inside it somewhere. So instead of going to search for everything and everything, I know it is under a tag called P, P tag. Paragraph is in the P tag. I'm just gonna directly look for that. So I'm going to say paragraph result dot find only that particular P tag. That's all. See, I have found it. So if you don't want that P tag in this paragraph, then I can say text dot strip. Done. I have extracted this particular paragraph. This paragraph is being extracted. So if you want this heading as well, what is data science? If I want the heading as well, you can see this heading is under a H2 tag. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Heading equal to result dot find a particular tag called H2. So heading dot text trip. Done. What is data science is being extracted. So this is to find out a particular first value from that uh, web page. So what if I want every paragraph in this particular page? It has too many paragraphs. What if I want all of this to be extracted? <clears throat> So what we can do is, I'm going to do a loop here. <clears throat> I'm going to assign this para. Instead of saying result.find, <clears throat> I'm going to say result.find all. Instead of going for the first paragraph, I'm saying find all the paragraph. So I'm going to write a loop for that for i in range length of the paragraph because that is my uh, range for i. So I'm just going to say para of 
I text strip and print. So all the paragraph from that particular uh, the page has been extracted. This is how we extract data from the particular web page. So from pandas, we have extracted data tables and from beautiful soup, we have extracted the content from the web pages. So I hope you have understood this and if you have any doubts, please comment. Thank you.